one day somebody does something unspeakable to someone else, to someone you hardly knew, man, you do something about it because you can. This story comes to us from KTLA 5 News. We're going to Los Angeles. And we're going to be looking at the Los Angeles Police Department where a 31-year-old officer with the Los Angeles Police Department is facing nearly a decade in prison for allegedly tampering with evidence and stealing property during, a, during traffic and pedestrian stops, according to officials. Tampering with evidence. The charges against Alan Carrillo stem from a broader investigation into complaints about the conduct of officers assigned to the LAPD's Mission Area Gang Enforcement Detail, according to the Los Angeles County District Attorney's Office. Yeah, I don't put stock in the LA County DA. But the investigation, according to LAPD, was initiated after the discovery of a pattern of Mission Area Gang Enforcement Officers who intentionally failing to properly document traffic stops or activate body-worn cameras. You get that? That's why we need you guys out there recording. Authorities accused Carrillo, who joined the force in 2018, of stealing personal items, including metal brass knuckles and knives, during stops on individuals on April 19th and June 15th of last year. The officer is then believed to have been inconsistent when documenting the property in his reports leaving the stolen property unaccounted for. Well, it's not unaccounted for. He's probably keeping them for himself. Brass knuckles. The public trust and the integrity of law enforcement are undermined when officers tamper with evidence and steal items from the public, says DA George Gashon. He goes on, police officers are entrusted with upholding justice and protecting our communities, and any breach of that trust is unacceptable. Our office is committed to holding Mr. Carrillo accountable for his actions so we can restore the public's trust in law enforcement. Yes, I'm sure, Gasson, that you're going, to, you're going to get the public to trust the LAPD again. I'm sure you are. The charges against the 31-year-old officer come just a day after charges were levied against 39-year-old Los Angeles County Sheriff's Deputy Jessica Lynn, who was accused of pocketing cash from a person during a traffic stop. Where Carrillo is concerned, LAPD Chief Dominic Choi said, I am extremely concerned that an officer broke public trust and violated the fundamental principles of policing, and I will ensure there's accountability. Checks in the mail. The DA's office charged the 31-year-old with two counts of altering, planning, or concealing, planting, or concealing evidence as a peace officer, and three counts of petty theft. Now, Carrillo was booked at the department's Valley Jail section and was relieved of his police powers pending the outcome of the LAPD's administrative leave investigation, according to police. His arraignment hearing has yet to be scheduled but the court set the officer's bail at $100,000. If convicted as charged, Carrillo faces a huge seven years and six months in prison. This case is being investigated by the Los Angeles Police Department's Complaint Investigation Division, Internal Affairs Division, and the Professional Standards Bureau. (laughs) So this LAPD officer is being investigated by the LAPD Complaints Division, the LAPD Internal Affairs, and the LAPD Professional Standards Bureau. Mm-hmm. Not the LA Sheriff's Department. Not investigators from the state of California, but the LAPD. That's called an internal justification. Um, yeah, I mean, that's weird, though. That's like, You know, whenever a police department or an agency investigates one of their own law enforcement officers, to me, it's almost like a father coming forward and going, I'll investigate my son. Yeah, I'll I'll do it. No, you should get somebody outside of the family to come and investigate. That's how I feel. 
when an internal affairs complaint comes down, it should go to another agency, but it doesn't. So you guys just have to keep filing these complaints when you find uh, in dis uh, or discrepancies with these officers. It's another word I was going to use, but you know when you find the, these cops violating what you believe to be policy or even the law, you need to file these complaints. Because sooner or later, something's going to stick. Something's going to get sustained. And I'm not saying file false complaints. I'm not saying just throw stuff up and see what sticks. That's not what I meant. I mean file good complaints. But you got to keep filing them. Because eventually, something will stick. And again, I'm not saying false complaints. I'm saying a factual. You believe this is a, a valid complaint. Eventually, one of those valid complaints is going to stick. And they're going to go, you know what? Yeah. Yeah, this is sustained. But if you don't file these complaints, they're just going to keep getting away with it. Well, in fact, they already do. Some officers who are finally terminated, their records, their personnel files are released, and they've got like 20 complaints. Like, what do you guys use them for? Toilet paper? 